Hello everyone, this is Jeff, and this is lecture two in a series of video lectures about using the lesson tool in Moodle. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do the very basic setup of a Moodle lesson. If you're viewing this video through the lesson on Moodle, then you are here. So, because it's not meta enough to make a Moodle lesson about Moodle lessons, I'm going to go one step farther and I am going to show you the process of making this Moodle lesson that you are probably in the middle of doing right now. So, as with almost anything else, the first thing I'm going to do is turn editing on. And I'm going to stick it down at the bottom of this page on Moodle Learning Resources. And I've made a little label here that's hidden at the moment, and I'll unhide it later just to make my lesson more visible. And I will click Add an Activity or Resource, and I will go Lesson. So by now I hope this is getting fairly familiar because this page is pretty similar to the page for creating a quiz or a variety of other Moodle tools. So I'm going to give it a name and I'm going to give it a description. And now a lot of the rest is very similar to something like a quiz. So for example, you can set an availability. I'm not going to. I'll say in my own courses where I use these lessons as pre-readings, I will set deadlines which correspond to the first day in class where we would cover the material covered in those lessons. But I'm just going to have this available all the time, so I don't need to set an availability. Um, there are various things you can do in appearance. The progress bar I don't usually use, and the reason is that typically in a Moodle lesson, students will not visit every page. Um, and so if you include a progress bar, they can be perhaps finished the lesson, and yet the progress bar won't show 100%. So that's often confusing. I would suggest you should only use the progress bar if you expect every student to visit every page in the lesson. So I'm going to set another few options here that are going to be useful, and I'll point out allow student review is not what you might think. If you're making a typical Moodle lesson, you probably want students to be able to do it multiple times, depending on what the purpose is. That's not what this is. This is so that when a student finishes, there will be a button presented to them which will allow them to go back over their attempt of the lesson. I am going to select yes there, but it's not actually the main thing I'm looking for, which is to allow you to do this lesson multiple times if you wish to. This maximum number of attempts is also not what you might think. This is not the maximum number of attempts on the lesson. This is the maximum number of attempts on questions in the lesson. I'm going to leave that at one. What we actually want, if we want students to be able to do the lesson multiple times, is to set retakes allowed to yes. So with that, I think this is now set up the way, oh, no, I see one more thing. Minimum number of questions. Because I've planned out this lesson, I know there are going to be six questions in it. And so I'm actually going to go ahead and set six as the minimum number of questions. That's just going to affect a message that's given at the end of the lesson that tells the student, i.e. you, how many questions you've completed and what that is as a fraction of what you should have completed. So I'm now going to, I could save and return to course and go back out to the main Moodle page, but I'm going to save and display to go to the page where I would add things to the lesson. So what we now have is an empty lesson. I haven't put anything at all into it yet. And I'm going to show you how to use this page in the next video. This is the page that you'll probably come to think of as the main page for working on lessons.